What's up, YouTube fam? It's your favorite girl, Jay Shara, coming back to you with yet another reaction video. The video that I'm going to be viewing today is coming from Cat Williams. It's called Friends with Shaq. I can only imagine that he's going to be talking about the height difference because Cat Williams, Shaq. <laughs> That's obviously what he's going to be talking about. Let me not say obviously because what if he doesn't talk about that? Anyway, before we get into this video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and follow your favorite girl on Instagram, at Jshar with an H at the end. Let's get into it. Actually, before we get into this video, I don't know Shaq personally, obviously, but that's one person who I can say lives their life. Just from the social media pictures and the videos that I've seen of him, he does so many different activities. He's on this earth to do this one thing and that's just to live his best life. And I admire that so much, but let me get back into this video. I talk about Shaquille O'Neal because that's my friend. And even though he's my friend, this nigga's still retarded. <laughs> I'm stupid than a motherfucker. This motherfucker got enough money to be whatever the fuck he want to be his whole life. But what the fuck does this nigga want to be? A goddamn sheriff. You can't be no goddamn sheriff, Shaq. What? You are 18 foot, 6 foot, 12. <laughs> you can't even go undercover. Just, Do you have any drugs? No, Shaq. <laughs> you that's your motherfucking ass. You a dumb motherfucker. If you let Shaq pull you out the car, you can just step out the car. Nigga, could you make a free throw? <laughs> I'm not getting out there. I'm just I'm not gonna do it. If you want that nigga not to shoot you, you gotta dress up like a basket. <laughs> you can't shoot them. You can't shoot them. <laughs> he wrong. That's my nigga. I can talk about it. He wrong. I ain't scared of Shaq. Shaq ain't even the gangster. And his family, his wife is the gangster. She's my size. She done had five of this nigga's gargantuan type dinosaur <laughs> babies. She don't even give a fuck no more. Shaq's baby be three and a half years old when they come out. She be steady in the conversation. Anyway, girl, I'm going to oh. <laughs> Fuck Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> and his circle had a nerve to put his hands up like I'm gonna pick his big ass up. <laughs> Some goddamn hands down. Anybody picking you up? The same size. Okay, big as hell. You tell him he shacked the baby because he was real big, but he couldn't talk good. All he could do, he could just repeat whatever the last thing you said. I was like, Hey, you want you want some candy? Oh, candy. <laughs> God, fuck it, you want some chicken? Oh, chicken. I confused the shit out that nigga. I said, you want a candy or a whooping? Oh, a whooping. <laughs> I don't give a f now Take care of your kids. They're the ones got your back. Right. It can be a motherfucking hassle, though. You're going to put up with some shit raising your babies, but you better appreciate them motherfuckers. They don't want to. I'm talking about facts. Care. Like, I, I got kids. I got adopted kids. That's a whole different shit when you got adopted. That means you just reaching in a bag hoping for some good shit. You know, <laughs> oh, that's a murderer, nigga. I know a murderer. <laughs> oh. No, what I'm talking about. My baby girl, 18 months. She was born with crack in the system. Now when mm. the baby born with crack in the system, they body don't develop right. So she was born at like four pounds or some crazy shit. Mm. So when the baby born that small, then they put them on steroids so the body can catch up. I don't think these motherfuckers did the proper research that maybe crack and steroids ain't a real good combination. <laughs> Got her walking around my house looking like 50 cent in pounds. <laughs> I said you can't run up on daddy like that. I <laughs> Tell a nigga when you want some cereal. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's my motherfucking boo boo. Oh. The crack and steroids that made her a gangster. She ain't even like a baby. She's just a gangster. You be trying to feed her and she, she just do gangster shit. You be trying to look at her, but she be giving you the fucking gangster back. She, you be like, come on, eat some more. She. Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 
You trying to play it off like you ain't scared. You oh, you ate a lot. You ate a lot. <laughs> I didn't see you. It ate this much. Huh? <laughs> she gonna fucking cry till she get what the fuck she want. The problem is she can't tell you what she want. She don't even cry like a baby. She cry like a gangster. She just in the high chair. Just, uh-uh. <laughs> What do you want? Got grown niggas running around the house looking for what the fuck she won't do. Gotta love you motherfucking kids. <laughs> that was actually funny. That was really funny. That's my reaction to Cat Williams on Shaquille O'Neal. I think that's all that it said. What was it actually called? Cat Williams, oh, friends with Shaq. Um, I wanna see more Cat Williams, so make sure you're dropping those recommendations down. Um, I was looking at the previous videos that I've done. Before this one, prior to this video, I did the two Cat Williams, the part one and two of Pimp Chronicles, I believe, and you guys were saying how much you love Cat Williams, and just by the view count, I can see that you guys really mess with Cat Williams. The craziest thing is, no, actually, you guys did recommend that I watch Cat Williams before, but you don't say exactly which segments I can watch um, that I should watch because I was on YouTube like trying to search which Cat Williams videos I should react to, and a lot of them are short. Like this one was only four and a half minutes, other ones are like two and a half minutes, and so on. But like, what should I watch? I know you guys like it, so don't be hesitant to drop those exclusive reactions or recommendations down and I will try to get back to everyone ASAP. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Tap that notification bell and follow your favorite girl on Instagram at jshar with an H at the end. You all know that I love you. You love yourself 10 times more. Have a beautiful day or night in this amazing world. Ciao.